Oh, they're, or is that a music selection they're going for? What was that second screen that they were selecting? I was looking at. Okay. Keelik versus Siegfried. Hardy Wolf is pulling out his Keelik. Yeah, and, and Heaton is ready for it. He's don't know if he's practiced it, but he said he's, he's like, oh, I can't wait for it. So we're going to see this go. And with this stage, too. So uh, tell me about this matchup here a little bit, because uh, uh, Keelik is one that I haven't seen as much, except for when Party Wolves played it. But what are we going to be expecting out of this toolbox here for, for Keelik versus Siegfried? Well, what I was expecting is exactly the opposite of is what's happening, because Keelik is primarily a defensive character, and Siegfried has to get in and steamroll you. And so naturally, with Keelik, you can just play him out with your range, you know? But Party Wolf immediately starts up the round with the aggression, just backwards matchup. So we're going to see some unusual stuff here. Yeah, definitely uh, was a crowd pleaser to see him pick up uh, Keelik. There was a number of people wondering if he was going to be utilizing it in the uh, top eight. And here we go, gets Heaton, no less. And the clock is winding down. Heaton does have to lay. Not anymore, though. Oh, he is going to get caught with the overhead. Lots of smiles from Eden. Uh, trying to smack him silly there in the face at the end of the bow staff. Uh, Party Wolf sitting at 50% stamina right now. He's doing a good job though, of, especially with how uh, crazy his aggression was and just the shenanigans he was pulling against Omega's uh, Taki. He seems to be playing fairly well here and just uh, holding block, waiting to see what he does and then reacting to it. Oh, that's 6-6-B. Six, oh, six that, that stuff hurts. <laughs> Flapjack is going to get stuffed by Party Wolf. They're both sitting at half their stamina bars. Oh, Oh man. my gosh. He thought he would just go for 6-B, but he confirmed the 6-B and interrupted his I-12 critical edge, which would have killed him. Man, he up 2-0 currently, too. Yeah. Oh, the RE is going to stuff that face check. However, he's going to take the sidestep. 25% uh, for Heaton, but he does get the launch. However, he, oh, that was a good reaction there. And now he comes out the soul charge. We're going to create the space. There is a lethal hit. And oh, no, we're going to see big boy damage. Oh, man. Oh man, I didn't kill him though, but Heaton is still in the red. Yeah, Heaton is definitely not an advantage, but there goes Zark Legacy. Oh no. Chip damage. Ch and Both it's the guard. Big. Oh my god. Heaton going 3 0 against Party Wolf Skeelik. Party Wolf seems unfazed. He's uh, doing the Fat Joe, the, the lean back, and the rock away right now. Those are really comfy chairs, so I would too. Welcome to the stage of history. Are we gonna see an adjustment from Party Wolf? You know what? I think he's thinking about it. He really is thinking about it. We're gonna, is he gonna give anything away here? No. It's the Tira! Let's see it! Hey, the only thing I gotta say about this, first of all, I'm excited to see Tira. But I talked to Party Wolf about his Tira, and he said that he hadn't had the time he felt to practice it. So do you think that in that case, it's, it, it said earlier that it might not have the most confidence in it. What tools should I be watching for for Tira against Siegfried then? You know, I'm going to be really honest with you. Um, I don't have Tira on my Xbox. I have her on PS4. <laughs> and so basically, I'm at this point where <clears throat> I don't respect tier players at all, and I have yet to run into a good one like Party Wolf. So like, I don't even worry about it. I play my own game against tier players. Well, on on that mercenary note, let's continue to see if Party Wolf can make a believer out of you. And the RE is going to stuff the overhand. We're just going to see what's going to go on here. They're both going to get caught with the horizontal. However, 
He goes for the double horizontal. It is going to lead to the crush. And now Party Wolf takes first round against Keaton and his top eight winners. And now he's in gloomy. Has to worry about that big damage coming out from here when he's in gloomy. Oh my gosh. See, just one whiff punish. Then that's like 80 damage. Uh, right now as well, too, we're seeing uh, some good, uh, just little pokes right now. It's just Party Wolf looking for the chink in the armor. Here comes the Soul Charge. The front grab is going to do a tremendous amount of damage. But I had two in a row. The disrespect. I was going to say he better grab because that's scary. Yeah. Yumi tier and Soul Charge is scary. Yeah, no. They pop off. They, uh, it, it was definitely going to be uh, a, uh, a bad day USA if he was allowed to get off of that. Yeah. Party Wolf's in at 25% stamina now. He's just getting pushed back towards the wall by Siegfried. And taking the hilt to the face. Uh, front escape from Beaton to avoid that. And the RE coming out. They're both going to clash with the vertical. And it's going to go right into the crit. Is, is there any way you could drop the, back it, um, the bracket into the stream chat? Because the Nightbot doesn't have the bracket. All right, we got the bracket also coming out here in the chat for you guys. Here you go. I got you, Becky. <laughs> oh, that big chop coming out from Heat and the catch chair on the way in. Right now, Party Wolf's uh, winner's side bracket uh, might be joining us in losers. If he doesn't have an answer to Heat and Siegfried, which seems unstoppable. Like, he's he's been playing Siegfried in a wide variety of styles as well, and uh, I've, I've enjoyed every single one of them thus far. Party Wolf, though, having two meter right now. Uh, using that bar. You have that bar. There he goes. There he goes. Now he's at plus eight. What's the mix up? And now we have back turn heat and shenanigans, and Party Wolf just doesn't know how to approach him. Oh, man. That's, uh, he, he decides to go ahead and drop it before Party Wolf figures something out. Oh, the... The GIs both get oh no oh, in the critical the edge. Sidestepped it. Oh my god, now we have Dark Legacy. Dark and that's gonna crack because oh and another one unfortunately Heaton. It's gonna take that one. 2-0 <laughs> versus Party Wolf. What are